All right, you guys ready to see an Afro Geek makeover? Ooh, yeah. Yeah, nope, I ain't got the Afro no more. Y'all. Hey guys, I'm Afro Geek Plus Ultra Nappy, and welcome back to a brand new video. Well, I know some of you guys are probably, you know, like thinking, how are we gonna call you Afro Geek if you haven't got your Afro anymore? Well, still call me Plus Ultra Nappy because my hair is, is a little weird right now to where it's like, needs to be brushed and it's real like spiky kind of. Anyway, before we get into the video, just wanna give you guys a little quick update on everything that's going on in my life right now. So currently I am 95.5% cancer free. I know some of you guys are probably like, oh, who the f cares, just get on with the video. I care, which means I am closer to being cancer free, which is a good thing for me because this has been a long journey what made me cut my hair yeah i was i mean i was losing my hair i know some that's probably some of the you know things you guys are probably assuming is oh he probably lost his hair i still had some of it i just decided to just go ahead and cut it instead of every time i picked it out my hair would come out so i just went ahead and picked it and everything I recently got an anime series that I chose not to unbox because I just wasn't really feeling it. And that series was Assassination Classroom season one, well the complete first season. I have the digital code right here, but I'll give away if you guys can see that. There you go, if you have to pause the video, pause the video to get it. But that is the digital code for the first season of Assassination Classroom. I just wanted to give that away in the video because I have no need for it. All right, enough about the update stuff. Let's jump into the unboxing video. So this movie in particular that I'm getting ready to unbox is a film that I have watched since I was a kid. I owned it on VHS. That's how you know it's old school, baby. It's old school and the series is still going on. Not this particular series, but like the, or not this particular season of the series but the series is still going on to this day. It's been a part of my childhood for as long as I can remember. I'm still loving it to this day. The series I'm talking about is Power Rangers. I love me some Power Rangers, man. Like seriously, I've been growing, I have like the Ninja Storm Megazord. I have a bunch of Power Ranger action figures still. Man, I love me some Power Rangers. I really do. But a certain Power Ranger series I'm talking about in particular is Mighty Morphin. That's right, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie. Now, this is the this is it, you know digitally remastered on Blu-ray. I pre-ordered it and I got it back in I believe it came out in May of 2019. I just haven't opened it yet. And they released this and Turbo a Power Rangers movie on Blu-ray. Now I didn't get Turbo and I had Turbo on VHS as well as a kid. But I think one reason I didn't get Turbo was because I I like Turbo, but not as much as Mighty Morphin. Was I born when Mighty Morphin was like airing on TV and stuff? No, because I was born in 97. I wasn't around when Mighty Morphin was like airing on TV. I watched some reruns, you know, good old Ivan Ooze. What y'all, see, what y'all millennials know, not millennials, what y'all Gen Z's know about Ivan Ooze? What y'all know about Ivan Ooze? You guys will probably know about Goldar and Rita Repulsa and Lord Zed because of the 2017 Power Rangers movie. Elizabeth Banks played Rita Repulsa. They had Goldar, even though Goldar looked nothing like how he did for Mighty Morphin, which I was kind of a little disappointed about. But I guess, you know, when you're doing a reboot, you're going to want to change things around. So I'm not going to say stuff about that. But just know this is a slap. All right, let's go ahead and take that sleeve off real quick. Ooh. Oh, take it off. Oh. Is this your man? Whose man's is this? Got screwdriver. So let's go ahead and just put it up. Ah. Boy, if you don't get. Okay, take that plastic off. Probably doesn't help that I put lotion on before I did this. So. All right. All right. So about the sleeve and. You know the plastic on there you guys can get a good look at that so without further ado go ahead and open it up oh snap that's cool okay so 
I'm gonna take out the disc because there's some actual like kind of cool looking concept art in here. Like I said, didn't help I put on lotion before I did this. So everything's like sliding out of my hands. If you look in here, there's a little concept art where it has all the Rangers and the villains. Isn't that cool? And then you got the villains in here. Here's what the disc looks like right there for those of you that are curious mighty morphin has always been like one of my top tier favorite series because it's old school it's, it's the old school man that's how it all started and i'll never forget man the day i met jason david frank who plays tommy oliver in the power ranger series i've met him he is a wonderful guy he really is i met him back in summer no, May of 2015, when I graduated high school, I went to Wizard World Comic Con in St. Louis. I met him, I got his autograph. My autograph photo of him is somewhere in here and it was uh, it was on a picture of the promo for him. He was wearing the, uh, he was wearing the Green Dragon suit from Mighty Morphin, but he, but it was like during a uh, promotion for Power Rangers uh, Super Mega Force when they did that big old battle with all those Rangers and stuff. Yeah, I've met him, wonderful guy. I'll put a photo somewhere, probably, eh, you know what, I'll do the photo right now. Anyway, I'm gonna read you guys the back of this so that way for those of you that haven't seen this or didn't even know that this was existed, you guys know exactly what this is about. I can just tell you a brief summary of it right now. Basically, it's the Power Rangers trying to stop this guy named Ivan Ooze from basically taking over the world with his ooze goo that kids would play with and stuff and it basically like controlled their minds. Power up with six incredible teens and defeat evil everywhere as the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. But this time the Power Rangers may have met their match when they face off the most sinister monster the galaxy has ever seen. Ivan Ooze. Unleash upon the good citizens of Angel Grove around six, uh, after 6,000 years of imprisonment, Ivan Ooze strips the Power Rangers of their powers. That is true. Now they must journey to a distant planet to learn the secrets of the ancient Ninjetti. Only then will they become empowered with strength enough to restore their Morphin abilities and defeat the evil Ivan Ooze. Join Mighty Morphin Power Rangers in their new Ninja Megazord as they save, oh, as they fight to save Angel Grove and the world from evil. Bonus features. A look back at Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the movie, including new interviews with director Brian Spicer, and stars Johnny Young Bosch and Paul Freeman and more. Original featurette and theatrical trailer. Do you really need your powers to defeat Ivan Ooze? I mean, I'm, a sh I'm just gonna put a photo of him right here. Do you really need your powers? Cause you can just give him that two piece combo with a biscuit and a drink. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to turn on post notifications or click that bell icon. That way you get notified when I upload videos or you can even set it for personalized style that way you know when I upload every other video. Don't forget to subscribe over to my Pokemon 1086 channel. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at AfroGeek3. Don't forget to check out my SoundCloud. All links in the description below. And I'll see you guys next video. All right, I am AfroGeek plus Ultra Nappy and your boy is just...